Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. Today is Saturday and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and on this channel, I just like to share with you in these videos what I get done on the weekend to prepare for the upcoming work week. So Saturday morning, we have a lot of stuff to get done this weekend, but first we have to go shovel snow because we got more snow yesterday. Yes, I live in Iowa and we have some snow to shovel. It's very, uh, seems to be foggy, which is kind of odd. Snowy and foggy. It looks super early, but it's actually like 9.45 in the morning <laughs> right now. The air is brisk. It's delicious. We got a bunch of freezing rain, so see the mailbox is like frozen over with ice. See, there's no way I can get in there. <laughs> okay, so this was not a shoveling exercise. This was actually an ice scraping exercise. We had so much freezing rain, but I wanted to let you guys know that today's weekend prep video is sponsored by Thrive Market. So I'll be sharing my uh, Thrive haul with you later. It actually got delivered shortly after I filmed this clip. Um, and I'll share more about what they're offering this month, but you guys can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jen Chapin to get 25% off your first order plus a free gift. So what I'm doing right now is using a, I don't even know what you call it. I'd have to ask Adam what the official name for it is, but it's like this um, metal scraper that I basically had to bang on all the ice. There was probably an inch of ice all over the porch and the steps. And so you have to break up the ice, obviously, before you can scrape it or shovel it off. It was so, so packed and hard. There is just no way that I could have done it with a shovel. So this was definitely a workout for me this morning. And Adam was also in the driveway trying to break up some of the ice uh, with the plow, but he didn't get very far on that. We just had so much freezing rain um, the day before we filmed this. All right, I know in a video, Last week I said I liked shoveling snow, but that was brutal. <laughs> 45 minutes of chopping ice off the sidewalk. It's probably, I would say almost an inch thick of ice. Um, not fun, not fun at all. But I guess I got in my exercise for the day. So one of my goals for this month is to figure out how to move more. <laughs> well, I moved today. All right, so uh, Connor, are you down here? Okay, do you want something to eat? Okay, so I'm just going to make Connor some uh, bacon and eggs and toast for breakfast. I had just a few pieces of bacon left over in the refrigerator, so it was easy to warm those up. And I made him some toast with butter and some fried eggs as well. All right, so now that Connor's eating breakfast, I want to share with you guys my Thrive haul. It just got delivered this morning, so I'm super excited to share with you the new items that I got. And if you guys aren't familiar with Thrive Market, they are an online marketplace on a mission. They want to make healthy eating affordable for everyone. And you guys know I have worked with them for a long time, and I am excited to be working with them once again in 2021. But I really love their app. It's super easy to use. I can sit on my couch and get groceries. The other thing that I like is that you can filter by top type of product. So if you're looking for a certain type of diet, like paleo, gluten-free, keto, vegan, anything like that, or sometimes I filter like by snacks so I can get my kids snacks. Um, it's super easy to navigate the site. I also like to filter by new items so I can see what they have new in the shop. And that's kind of what I did this time along with picking up some staples. So Thrive does have two different membership options. You can do a month to month membership for $9.95 a month, or you can also do a 12 month membership that's $59.95 annually, which comes out to less than $5 a, a month. That's the one that I choose because I order from them several times a month. And to me, uh, it's worth it. And you also get free shipping on any order over $49. So even when you buy heavy stuff like <laughs> glasses of marinara sauce and dressing and things like that, it all comes shipped free as long as you spend $49. 
So before I share with you guys what I got, if you want to try out Thrive Market, this month is the perfect time. They have made my life so easy now that I'm working from home. When I don't want to leave, I just get these groceries delivered right to my door and they have so many ingredients and items that I can't find in my local store. But Thrive is now offering my viewers a free gift when you join. Plus, you're going to get 25% off your first order, which is a fantastic offer. So make sure you check that out. I'll have all of the information down in the description box below, but 25% off your first order is a fantastic deal. Plus you get to pick out a free gift. So let me show you what I got this time. So I did grab this variety multi-pack of the paleo snack mix. I thought that I could give this to Adam and he could keep it downstairs in his office for when he's uh, also working from home. There are three different types in here um, and they also sell these on the site individually in larger bags as well but there is ranch chipotle barbecue and savory um, and i think there's different ingredients in there like nuts and um, different crunchy items so if you happen to be someone who is watching your carbs i would definitely check this out it looks delicious so i'll have to let you guys know how he ended up liking that um, i also got some various bagged snacks this is a cup hop super green pop chips with olive oil and sea salt and then i got two bags of the avocado oil smoky barbecue potato chips my kids love barbecue chips and we are going back into um, some limited swim meets on the weekends they are not having them with other schools um, and so it's like a limited number of kids and they haven't had concessions or anything like that. And so obviously I have to pack snacks and lunches for everyone. So stuff like this is great. Um, I can take it and this bag is small enough that we could all share it and there wouldn't be a ton left over if any. Um, I did also get some of these cocoa rice puffs. Um, I'm assuming these are like cocoa crispies. This is one of Connor's favorite cereals and a lot of this stuff was on sale. That's another thing I would mention is that if you sign up for their emails, you'll get notified when they have like site-wide sales. At the time when I ordered all this stuff, I want to say I got it all for like 30% off because it was in a certain category. So they, they often offer it's a tongue twister. They often offer um, special promotions like that. So definitely sign up uh, for their emails as well. I did also get some uh, light brown sugar. I needed to um, replace or um, replenish my canister of brown sugar in the pantry. Um, these are new to us. These are Mavericks Kids birthday cake cookies. And it says they have 40% less sugar. There were a couple different kinds of these. They had these and then I believe they had like some cheddar crackers as well. I did not decide to get the cheddar ones this time because we already have some similar crackers like that in the pantry, but uh, I'm looking forward to the kids trying these. It's something easy um, with less sugar that I can throw in their backpack for school or in their lunch or swim practice or something like that. So looking forward to trying those. Um, another thing that Thrive does is give you free gifts. And so this time I got this as a free gift. It is the Propolis Throat Spray. Beekeepers Naturals. Um, I believe this is for sore throats. So hopefully we don't get sick anytime soon, but if we do, we can try that. Um, I also got this peace candle. I am so excited to burn this. I think I'm actually going to um, take it upstairs either in my master bath or my office, um, but it is scented with frankincense, myrrh, and Palo Santo. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I just smelled it and it smells delicious. So I'm super excited to try that. Um, I also needed more cumin and Thrive is a great place to get spices. What I typically do when they come in this is I just put them in a mason jar or I put them in my existing uh, spice container. So I got more cumin. Um, this was also on sale, the Thrive Market Organic Sicilian Gravy, um, kind of like a marinara or tomato sauce. So looking forward to trying that. I've tried Thrive's brand of marinara before and it's really good. So I'm sure that one will be good also. Um, okay, I was excited to find this is uh, Harissa, and so this is a red pepper sauce, and this is something that whenever a cookbook calls for it in a recipe, I'm just like, oh God, because I can hardly ever find this kind of stuff here where I live, so I did end up getting this. I don't have a specific plan for it right now, but I'll keep it in the pantry, and the next time I have a dish that calls for it, I will have some. Um, and then lastly, you guys saw that I harvested a bunch of greens from my garden. And so, um, and that's my inside garden, <laughs> by the way, it's a hydroponic garden, 
but I also grabbed some feta cheese at the store and I have like different Greek salad toppings. So I thought I would try Thrive's uh, Greek dressing. And I've tried their other flavors of dressings before. They're really, really good. So I'm sure that one will be good also. So that's everything that I got from Thrive. Like I said, if you guys want to check it out and get 25% off your first order plus a free gift, I'll have all of that information down below. So make sure you check it out. Okay, so now it's time for me to eat breakfast. I heated up a piece of quiche. This is broccoli cheddar quiche with a side of cottage cheese. So while I am eating that, I'm going to work on my meal plan and uh, my grocery list for this week. Um, I told you guys that I've kind of been struggling lately with trying to stay on track with my meal plan. So I just have the grocery ad. And what I was doing, just kind of flipping through that, trying to find some things that were on sale that maybe could spark some ideas on what to make. Uh, I was really trying to just find kind of some simple meals um, that I could throw together because the kids are doing swim practice and it's just hard to cook a meal when they have different practices at different times. Um, and so what I wanted to try and do was cook some slow cooker meals. So I did an Italian beef one night, which is like the shredded beef with the pepperoncini on the sandwiches and provolone cheese. That turned out really good. And then I'll also be making a sort of like a queso white chicken chili. I'll be making that later on in the video so you guys will get to see that. But I would love to know what your favorite crock pot recipe is. Obviously, I know all of the, the classics, but if you have something uh, sort of innovative or different that your family makes in the crock pot, I would love to hear it down in the comments below. I also wanted to mention that my friend Sarah over at the YouTube channel Work Life Glue now has a podcast and she had me on her podcast. Uh, last week and so I'll leave a link for that down below as well if you guys want to uh, hear me talk more about being a working mom and how my journey sort of started out in motherhood um, I talk about um, postpartum depression and having little kids and all of that stuff so check that out if you are interested but what I'm doing now is I am making dinner so you saw me there just putting some chicken and some beans and some corn in the crock pot and I'm now going to make some guacamole I went ahead and cooked this on high for four hours you can also cook it on low for eight hours I'll type the recipe out down below but we're sort of gonna have the like chicken chili queso along with some quesadillas and then I wanted to make some guacamole since I had an avocado as well so super simple I just make my guacamole with mashed avocado I put a little bit of garlic in there lime juice cilantro gotta have cilantro <laughs> salt pepper and tomato and onion and this made it super easy to throw this together because I actually had some um, taco toppings on hand so I didn't even have to chop any onions or cilantro or anything like that it was super easy Okay, so now it is closer to dinner time and the chicken is super tender. So you can see I still have some chicken broth in there, um, the tomatoes, corn, and beans, and seasonings, but I just pulled the chicken breast out and put it on a plate. I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit and then I can go ahead and shred it. So to the broth in the slow cooker, you'll wanna add one package of cream cheese. And it's best if this is done when the cream cheese is at room temperature because it will incorporate easier. And as as you whisk it in you'll kind of think that it's not going to combine like it's gonna look curdled but it will eventually melt <laughs> and combine all in so don't worry and then you add a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and kind of just let that warm through while you're shredding the chicken I used regular diced tomatoes in this recipe, but you could totally use a can of Rotel or add some green chilies if you wanted to. I shredded three of the chicken breasts and put those back into the uh, crock pot, and then I'm just going to give that a stir and kind of let it warm through while I prepare the rest of dinner. This soup also makes really good leftovers. Um, I've been eating them for leftovers like for a week <laughs> after I made it. Um, it's really good, warmed up like with chips on the top and sour cream and some extra cheese and cilantro and with that extra chicken breast that I made I'm going to shred that up and use it for quesadillas I wanted to make some quesadillas on the side because I wasn't sure how much my kids would like the chili 
So for the quesadillas, I just have a nonstick skillet here and I'm going to put a little pat of butter in that and let that melt. And I'm using whole wheat tortillas because that's what I had on hand. Um, I'm sprinkling a little bit of the, um, I think it's called Chihuahua cheese. It's really good for quesadillas if you've never tried it. I'm gonna make one cheese and one chicken and cheese. Uh, my kids both like different things. And I'll just toast those up until they are golden on one side, uh, give them a flip and cook them on the other side. So this was a really good dinner. The kids really liked the quesadillas. They were kind of like so-so on the soup. They ate it, but they said it wasn't their favorite. But here's the soup. I topped it with a little bit of cheese and chopped cilantro. I would definitely recommend that cilantro on top. And then we had the quesadillas with the salsa. Delicious. Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday morning about 9 30 and uh I feel like I didn't really chat with you very much yesterday, but I'll catch you up here in a little bit on what I got done. But first, we're gonna make breakfast. Uh, Adam has been requesting biscuits and gravy, and he's apparently very excited about that, so <laughs> we're gonna make that happen. Okay, so I don't have a link to this biscuit recipe because it's in a magazine, but here it is if you'd like to screenshot it. This is from one of my Cook's Illustrated magazines and it's a recipe for cheddar biscuits. They are super good and you guys have probably seen me make them before. So in a bowl here, I have some flour and I'm going to add some salt and some uh, either baking powder or baking soda. I think it's baking powder. And this recipe does not use buttermilk, so it's good for that if you don't have that on hand. It does use cream and no butter in the recipe, so it's kind of unique. I have a couple different like go-to biscuit recipes that I use depending on what I have on hand. And this is one that I use when I happen to have cream on hand. So I shredded up some sharp cheddar cheese and put that in there and then I'll go ahead and stir that around with a fork. Normally when I'm making biscuits, I like to mix them with a fork. I just find that it works the best. It keeps the dough kind of light and flaky um, and doesn't over mix. So I'm adding the cream and then once that just starts to come together, you can turn it out onto a floured surface and then you just wanna knead it until it is smooth and it comes together. Um, don't overwork it. And then when you're making biscuits too, it's best if you kind of knead and fold the dough over because every time you fold the dough over on itself it will make those flaky layers that we all love when we're having biscuits so this particular recipe calls to kind of pat this dough out into a circle and then I use my bench scraper to cut it into wedges but you could also use a biscuit cutter if you wanted to the best thing about using uh, this method is that you don't have any waste or any like scraps <laughs> of dough um, they almost look like scones I wouldn't say that they super duper taste like scones. They taste more like biscuits, but either way, they are delicious. So once those are cut, I put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And then this part is optional, but I always like to do it just because it makes them a little bit crunchier on the top. Brush them with a little bit of half and half where you can use cream and then sprinkle them with a bit of coarse salt. Um, the original recipe actually calls to sprinkle them with extra cheese on the top. I don't really find that that makes much of a difference so I usually skip that step. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven and while these are in the oven, I'm going to make the sausage gravy. So I'm just going to start out with a pound of breakfast sausage in a skillet here. And I'm using my trusty uh, meat masher <laughs> to break that up and cook it. Once it's all the way cooked, um, you don't gr drain the grease because you want that to uh, cook with the flour and make your roux. So I added about two tablespoons of flour, some salt and pepper to taste, and I let that cook until the flour is cooked through. And then I just add some milk. You can see that when I make this, I do not <laughs> measure. Um, it's definitely super simple to make and once you make it a couple times you'll definitely get the hang of it and that will thicken up and then you can season it to taste with extra salt and pepper and then you could also add hot sauce to it if you wanted to here are the biscuits you can see those turned out super good those would be good for a side for dinner as well and then i just spooned some of the gravy over the biscuits and adam was very happy Hey guys, okay, so it is much later in the day now since I last spoke with you. It's about 4 p.m. And uh, I wanted to go over all the things that I did this weekend because I didn't film a lot of it. 
and um, mostly I was just helping Adam in the basement. Um, we're trying to get everything finished and mostly what we have been working on is the trim. Uh, so if you have trim in your house, which I'm sure you do, uh, you never really stop to think about how much it takes to paint it and you know cut it with the miter saw and then attach it and then fill the holes with wood putty and then sand it and then paint it and then like all those things that go into that so you know when we first started to do this it was kind of at the start of the pandemic and so it was like well do we really want people you know contractors coming in our house or will they feel comfortable blah 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 you know and then we kind of tried to hire someone and that didn't end up working out they didn't get back with us and so at the end of the day we were just like oh we're just gonna do it ourselves so that's what we've been working on over the last several months like bit by bit just obviously on the weekends when we have time and adam's been doing a lot of it but there are some things that he asked me to help him with just because it goes faster and you know home improvement projects are just really not my cup of tea <laughs> Like, I'm just not interested in it at all. I mean, I know it needs to be done, obviously. So, um, what we did Friday, actually, was we went and filled in all of the holes with wood putty. So, several, several weeks back, we had actually bought the trim and painted it um, because we couldn't find the type of trim that we wanted that matched with the rest of the house that was pre-finished. So we have white trim in our house. It's like four, I think they call it colonial style four inch trim. Well, no place had it pre-finished. And so we had to buy it just bare, you know, bare wood, and then basically paint it ourselves, which in and of itself took like three coats. <laughs> of paint um, to get painted so we had done that Adam had attached it all you know cut it and with his miter saw and attached it which was also a huge uh, undertaking you know and we're just talking about doing one floor of the house um, and it's not even really that complex because it's not like there are like a ton of rooms um, so then Friday we went around with wood putty and filled all of the holes you know where the trim is attached and then yesterday we sanded, which actually went by faster than I thought it would. And then today was the day that we were going to paint. And so I did not think it was going to take as long as it did. So I was probably downstairs from 11 until 3. Um, just like, you know, you're just basically laying on the floor, you know, because you have to like touch up the trim with this little foam brush. I'm just, I feel cranky now. <laughs> like... I'm just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. So I did, um, I, I did make a list like in my planner of things that I wanted to get done this weekend and things that had to get done this weekend. So, okay. Help Adam with the trim. That's crossed off. Uh, I need to go to Walmart because I am out of printer ink and I didn't have time to order any from Amazon. I'm just out of one color, but I'm just going to go to Hy-Vee and get it or Walmart and get it. Um, I wanted to work on my January budget. I have a new budget planner um, that I'm working with and it's, it's a Clever Fox budget planner. You can find them on Amazon. I just, I, I use it more to keep track of bills and payments and our spending and stuff like that rather than a well, I guess that is a budget, right? <laughs> I guess. Anyway, um, so I wanted to work on that. I haven't got that done yet. I did get the video done and edited and posted last night by the skin of my teeth. I think I posted at like 1130, just before midnight. I shoveled snow yesterday. I um, wanted to do my nails this weekend, and I'm actually glad that I haven't done them yet because as you can see, I now have paint all over my hands, and yesterday I would have been sanding, and so, yeah. Uh, it's probably best that I didn't do that. I probably won't have time to do that this weekend. Um, I wanted to work on some thank you notes, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. And then today I helped Adam with the trim. I finished meal planning and making my grocery list. Um, I have laundry that's working right now in the um, washing machine at home. And then I still have to edit and post a video today for the last day of Vlogmas. So um, that is going to be my focus now. I'm going to run into Hy-Vee. And then I'll just go to Walmart to get all the non-food stuff I need. Like I need some um, heavyweight um, computer paper and I need to get another calculator and just a bunch of odds and ends. So let's go do that. Well, I've got all the Valentine's Day candy out. Fudge brownie M&Ms. 
I was like, I kind of want to try these. Cheesecake M&Ms, I want to try them. Raspberry cream Kit Kat. Are you guys team conversation hearts? I love the orange ones, they're my favorite. So I'm at Walmart and I think this is the most dead I've seen Walmart in ever. So I feel like I want to come grocery shopping on Sunday nights now. Maybe that's the key. All right, so I just got home and I want to make something easy for dinner. So I am going to make BLTs and fries and I have some strawberries in the fridge. I'll probably cut up on the side. So I just have my bacon here on a sheet pan on a rack and I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425. I might make club sandwiches too, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so I got these fries from Aldi last week and a bunch of you commented that yes, these are from Canada. So I'm gonna try them out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice up my tomato. If you can use a serrated knife to cut your tomato, that is probably best, or a super duper sharp knife will work as well. Uh, BLTs is always one of my go-to meals when I wanna cook something that doesn't require a whole lot of effort. Usually I have the ingredients on hand and no one complains about it. Everyone in the family loves it. So I toasted some bread. Here is how I am building our BLTs, which is how I normally do it. Uh, put some bacon on there, some tomato, tomato, some lettuce that is from my garden. I spread both sides with a little bit of mayo, cut that in half and add some of those baked fries on the side. And this was a really great dinner. Like I said, no complaints from the troops. Okay, so it is later now. It is quarter after 11, <laughs> much later. I just finished editing my final Vlogmas video for today. Um, so by the time that gets done, like rendering and I upload it. It's probably going to be up at like 11:30, 11:45, which is just by the skin of my teeth, but I made it. 31 days of vlogmas. Woo! I'm so excited. Um I don't know why I always get like a little emotional at the end of vlogmas. Like it's just like it's like a feeling of accomplishment mixed with like sadness that I'm not going to see you guys every day. Like <laughs> I don't know. I'm a weirdo probably. But um, anyway, thank you again for watching if you uh, watched any or all of my Vlogmas videos. But right now I have some laundry to fold, so I'm probably not going to get to bed until after midnight. But it is what it is. I'll just, I'll sleep in a little bit tomorrow, although the kids have to go to school. So I'll have to get up at 6.30, but whatever. I used to have a friend in college that used to say that you can sleep when you're dead, <laughs> which is true. <laughs> but um Obviously, good sleep is very important. Something that, you know, a piece of advice that I don't always heed because I am personally more focused on what I can get done rather than how long I can sleep. But I can remember, you know, I I worked as a CNA when I was in college. And so oftentimes I would have to work day shift, which is like, you know, 7 to 3.30 or 7.30 to 4. Um, and that comes pretty early when you have just gone out the night before, especially if you were drinking. <laughs> I never did that. Don't worry. But, um, yeah. So she'd be like, Oh, let's go to the bars or whatever. And let's go downtown. And I was like, I have to work in the morning. I need to sleep. She's like, you can sleep when you're dead. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously you make poor decisions when you're a teenager. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't still make poor decisions now sometimes, but I'd like to think that I'm a little bit more mature, but anyway, I'm going to fold this laundry uh, I need to revisit my to-do list. I need to clean up the kitchen, but I might have to wait till tomorrow to do that. So maybe I'll just carry this video over into the morning. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to fold this laundry and get this video uploaded. That's my priority for tonight. Okay, so it's actually the following morning. Do you guys love my gray sweatpants and my yellow Crocs and my blue cardigan? It's my new fashion statement, just kidding. But I did not get the time the night before to load my dishes and I really don't like leaving dirty dishes in my sink overnight, but sometimes it happens, right? You just gotta roll with it. So I am gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher. If I don't get it done the night before, I at least like to get up early in the morning and do it because if I get to the end of the day and I get off work and 
and I'm getting ready to cook dinner and I have a huge mountain of dishes to do. It just like discourages me from even <laughs> wanting to cook and make more dishes. Um, actually, a friend and I were talking um, about, you know, different cleaning videos on YouTube and things like that and how when people load their dishwasher, they say they only run it like a couple times a week. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I seriously run my dishwasher probably twice a day. Um, most days, there are some days during the week when I only run it once, but definitely on the weekends when I'm like cooking and meal prepping, I definitely run my dishwasher three times a day during the week, but that's what you get when you cook a lot, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. And then I had some dishes that I wanted to hand wash. I've been loving wearing my rubber gloves lately. You can just get the water so much hotter and I think it makes it go by <laughs> a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just get all of these out of the way. I Doing dishes is not my favorite thing. Um, I, I like, in general, I like cleaning my kitchen and I like having a clean kitchen but dishes are definitely not my favorite thing so I'm just going to give these a rinse and I wanted to thank you guys so much for coming along with me this weekend I hope that you got some own some motivation to get your own things done don't forget to check out Thrive Market they're having that super awesome deal right now you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift it's thrivemarket.com slash Jen Chapin and I'll see you in my next video bye